For my people, by Marvin Walker. For my people, everywhere. Singing their slave songs repeatedly. Their dirges and their ditties and their blues and jubilees. Praying their prayers nightly to an unknown God. Bending their knees humbly to an unseen power. For my people lending. Lending their strength to the to the years, to be gone years, to the now years, and even to the maybe years. Washing, ironing, cooking, scrubbing, sewing, mending, hoeing, plowing, digging, planting, pulling, patching, dragging along, never gaining, never reaping, never knowing. For my playmates in the clay and dust and sand of Alabama, backyards playing, baptizing and preaching, and doctor and jail and soldier and school and mama and cooking and playhouse and concert and store and hair and Miss Chumby and company. For the current bewildered years, we went to school to learn, to know the reasons why, and the answers to, and the people who, and the places where, and the days when. In memory of bitter hours, when we discovered we were black and poor, and small and different, and nobody cared, and nobody wondered, and nobody understood. For the boys and girls who grew, in spite of these things, to be man and woman, to laugh and dance, and sing and play, and drink their wine, and religion, and success, to marry their playmates, and bear children, and then die of consumption, and anemia, and lynching. For my people grown in 47th Street, in Chicago and Lenox Avenue in New York, and the Rampart Street in New Orleans, lost, disinherited, dispossessed, and happy. Happy people filling the cabarets and taverns and other people's pockets, needing bread and shoes and milk, and land and money and something, something all our own. For my people, walking blindly, spreading joy, Losing time, being lazy, sleeping when hungry, shouting when burdened, drinking when hopeless, tied and shackled and tangled among ourselves by unseen creatures who tower over us obliviously and laugh. For my people blundering and groping, fluttering in the dark of churches, and schools and clubs and societies and so associations and councils and committees and conventions, distressed and disturbed and deceived and devoured by money hungry, glory craving, leeches, preyed on by facile, forces of state, and fat and out, by false prophet and holy believers. For my people, standing, staring, trying to fashion a better way from confusion, from hypocrisy, and misunderstanding. Trying to fashion a world that will hold all the people, all the faces, all the Adams and Eves, and their countless generations. Let a new earth rise. Let another world be born. Let a bloody peace be written in the sky. Let a second generation full of courage issue forth. Let a people loving freedom come to growth. Let a beauty of healing and strength of final clinching be the pulsing of our spirits 
and our blood. Let the martial songs be written. Let the dirges disappear. Let a race of men now rise and take control.